Welcome back to some more Syrian Warfare, guys. For those of you that watched my last battle, I did not add it to our actual um, campaign, um, primarily because I lost so damn badly. Um, so for this next part, we're going to try to be a lot more careful in our approach um, and uh, just approach very, very carefully. I mean, the, the great thing about this game that I've started to realize is this game is not easy. This is a challenging, challenging game, um, without a doubt, and uh, if we're going to be trying to play it, we may have to restart a few levels every now and again. Look at that. Our engineers are already taking major shots from uh, ISIL forces. We're going to move them back, and we've got a few, um, obviously, some, some vehicles here that can assist us. Right now, I'm just going to keep them back. I don't want to get too close, but we'll get them close enough to provide some cover fire while we move our snipers into this uh, building. The fact is, uh, in this particular battle, we need to approach with utter and total caution um, because the enemy is not messing around in this battle. I'm actually going to go ahead and bring our police force forward as well. These guys have RPGs attached, all sorts of fun stuff. Of course, we still have our awesome BTR-70 APC. Um, we're going to bring them forward too, but as we approach this area, I really want to approach it from multiple locations and approach it carefully. Uh, in fact, we're already going to take these engineers. I want to make sure there's no mines in this area. Um, it looks like the area is almost totally mined, and if we're going to go over here and fight the ISO forces and clear these areas, we want to be very, very prepared. So I'm going to go move these guys through. Uh, let's make sure. I want that police force to get in the building. I'm going to make sure that our technicals are firing as well. This technical has a grenade launcher attached and pretty useful, um, obviously, especially if you're taking on buildings like this. All that shrapnel is going to strike somewhere, and in this case, we might be able to wipe this area out. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, so we're getting our men in these buildings. BTR-70 is firing at... Ooh, look at that. Nice. Looks like they got a suicide truck or maybe a fuel truck, which we could actually use, so... I'm not exactly ecstatic about that move, but it is what it is. We are going to move the BTR-70 forward now, and basically just anybody that can help us needs to join in now. We've got some police squad units. Move them forward, too. And remember, we're trying to push on this location ahead of us, um, so we can't just stay put. We've got to keep on moving, but uh, as you can see, some of our units are already getting badly damaged. Uh, let me grab this technical over here move him up here and I'm gonna move this technical up as well also got to keep in mind we've got vehicle crews here that can help us and we've got engineers that can clear out mines if they spot anything uh, untoward if they spot anything that's not right it's something that looks a little weird uh, but the engineers are easily wiped out we've seen that before so we want to be very careful with them Look at that. We got one engineer squad moving over. I could have sworn we had another engineer squad now. There they are. There they are. Right, fair enough. Fair enough. And we want to be very careful as we move forward. In this game, I think it's important to just take your time very, very slowly. Let's get the police squad here and the police squad here to take over this building. Seems like a pretty nice building to set up. Um, although we could find some mines. In fact, I've already found some. Look at that. We got mines here. Deactivate them. Deactivate those damn mines. Get in the building. We've already got enemies uh, firing at us from multiple other locations. We can see them with RPGs here. Nice shot. I don't know Base who got that. What's this, Falcon Base 4? One, you. Base 1, we've cleared one of the points. Good work, Falcon 4. We copy. Move on to the next one. Okay. Well, that was cool. So, we cleared one of the points, guys. Obviously, that is a, a great a cause for happiness. Not bad. Guess we won't be running out of ammo anytime soon. All right, we got to remember that supply truck, um, although right now I'm not going to mess with it too much. We've also got some mines in the road right here, but first let's deactivate these. Get rid of all these mines that could possibly harm our forces. And like I said, slow but steady wins the race for this battle. Um, I'm also going to take out these mines in the road, make sure that our vehicles don't get blown up as we're moving forward. I think having as many vehicles alive on this particular mission is going to help, and we're going to need our engineers uh, to, to make that happen. As you can see, this whole area is mined up and down. Um, so we're going to go ahead, deactivate, and then start moving forward only when we know the, the path is clear. The only exception being if these engineers start taking shots because, unfortunately, they don't have very high health, and uh, they seem to go down pretty damn quickly. Look at that, even more. I mean, we were that was like inches away from our trucks. Could have easily wiped out one of our... Uh, one of our um, technicals, and I don't, I don't want that happening. So this entire road seems to be littered with mines. We want to make sure that our guys are getting rid of them. 
Sorry, I stopped you from doing your job, and look at that. There's a mine right in front of one of our vehicles. It is an anti-personnel mine, but believe me, it has the capability of wiping us out. Uh, wiping out some vehicles, definitely wiping out some men. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Get them, boys. Get them all. Look at that right next to our vehicle. Right next to our vehicle. They're everywhere. While that's happening, I'm going to get these guys out of the building. They don't need to hang out there anymore, so we'll grab them. Get out, boys. Thanks for hanging out, though. Appreciate that. Next, we're going this way, going to the west um, to be able to hit the enemy and do some serious damage. Still got more mines in the road. In the road and just basically all around the area. And uh, I'm glad that we've got some police squads in this building, sniper teams, RPG teams, um, and our beautiful BTR because I'm going to need to clear the entire road. And that could take a little while, so we're going to go ahead and give these guys the time they need to do that. I want to try to keep this engineer squad totally safe, and they're finding these devices all over the place. I'm amazed that ISIL has enough manpower to set these up, and I'm wondering where are they getting all of these mines? What kind of mines are they? A lot of questions need answering, but we can't answer them all now, let's be honest. There's also an RPG-7 there. Could grab it later, um, or at least try and uh, use it to stock up on uh, RPG rounds for some of our forces, but you can see that all these fields are covered in anti-personnel mines, and our engineers are having a hell of a time cleaning them all up. Alright, good job, boys, good job. I know this is not the most exciting procedure, but I actually find this part of the game really cool. Um, just the fact that you have to be careful of these real-time uh, death traps that exist in a war like this. Um, and, in, and in many wars, just the amount of work that engineers have to go through. My father, of course, was a first lieutenant and uh, engineer in Vietnam. And the work you've got to go through to find these, these things and uh, make sure that the rest of your men are safe. Or else uh, your entire group is going to be... Um, in serious danger and that's not fun for anybody so we're gonna keep moving hopefully we'll find a few more mines before we reach that next location in fact pretty soon here oh look at that look at that and we're already taking fire open fire open fire btr open fire all right come on come on we're gonna let them keep on taking out those mines but we definitely have to be careful because they're taking serious shots now good to see that our boys are shooting but i wish they wouldn't be firing their rpgs just to take out um, infantry units. I think right now we just need to get the snipers really focused. Ooh, come on, don't lose all your ammo, son. Okay, come on, get out of here. Get out of that building. Let the snipers do the work. There was an RPG over here. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up because we need every bit of ammo that we can get. And our engineers are actually doing a good job. Look at all these mines deactivating these things. Let's grab these two vehicles. I'm going to move them up just here. We know that that part of the road is cleared. At least we hope it is. And we've got more engineers here. So I'm going to move the engineers up here as well. I'll grab the sniper team and put them into this building. Hopefully start getting some nice hits. Oh, I don't like how quickly that guy moved up. That was a bit unsafe, uh, to put it mildly. There we go. He's getting some shots, though. He spotted something. Holy crap. Careful, y'all. Careful. All right, we'll move the police squads up. Probably time for them to get on the battlefield anyway. Let's check out over here with these engineers. I see the ISIL men getting closer. Nice shooting. So we definitely want to probably get in those buildings with uh, some of our police squads. I'm going to grab these two and get in this building. It looks to be a pretty nice building. Pretty, uh... Pretty sturdy, as it were, but we actually have to move a lot closer to get towards the ISIL positions. So I might get actually in this building a little bit closer. Not as nice of a location to be in. And of course we got that supply truck, although right now we're not touching it. Okay, there we go, our RPG team. Get our sniper team to move forward a little bit. They're not seeing anything from here. And we'll get the engineer team to move up as well. This engineer team as well. 
as soon as they spot anything that looks weird, they're going to start opening fire. Well, there we go. We got some ISIL guys right out in the open. Always best to catch these teams as soon as possible, and that's definitely a sniper team. Just too few guys for it not to be. Holy shit. The hell was that? Nice. Yeah, we want to waste all these guys on the field here in the olive groves before we move forward at all. We're going to move forward with this technical. Also got a guy firing at us from the left side here. Oh, I want to deal with that. So let's move forward. That's a tank. That's a damn tank. Holy shit. All right, relax. Everybody chill the fuck out. Get the tank. Get the damn tank. I don't know if you can get them from this distance. Oh! All right, we're getting these guys out of the building. Have these guys throw some smoke grenades down um, close by here to try and cover the movement of our RPG team. So I definitely want that tank dead, so we're moving the RPG team. Try to throw some smoke grenades with them too. You can see they're trying to spot that tank. It's going to be kind of hard to get to it with all of those ISIL guys in that building. Holy hell. Well, let's go for it. It's not the first time we stormed a building, and it won't be the last. Get in there, boys. Base 1, this is Nest 2. Come in. Over. Shit. Base 1, reach Nest 2. Over. We are under attack. Major enemy forces are attacking the control center of the logistics compound. We need help. Over. Copy that, Nest 2. Hold on. We don't have any reserve units available right now. Falcon 4 is near you. Falcon 4, move in and cooperate with the Nest 2 as soon as possible. Over. Okay, well, we're going to try to protect Nest 2, but doesn't look like they're going to be able to do much. We'll move in nonetheless. We are trying to take this position out anyway. take that tank out I have no idea and as soon as that tank gets a spot on our guy he's finished so I'm moving really quickly here getting behind enemy lines trying to assist Nest 2 here at least against the enemy infantry forces Got to find some way to take that enemy tank out, guys. We got this RPG team right here. I'm going to try to move them over here. I hope that's close enough for them to get a hit on the tank. We're not going anywhere close to uh, our actual location. So let's get the hell out of here. We've got to get back to our main objective. We've got to stop ignoring... I mean, it sucks that we can't help Nest 2, but we've got to start moving towards the main objective and ignoring the other objective. So I'm going towards our main objective. Eventually, if we can get to that secondary objective, great, but our focus needs to be to move ahead. So that's what we're going to do. I repeat, Recon is retreating from the building. Try to hold it. Shit, 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 shit. Never mind, never mind. Calm down. Get back, get back, get the hell back. Engineers, get rid of all these mines. This is what I'm talking about. We have to watch this shit all day. Um, and it looks like our mortar car is still here. The engine is damaged, though. All he can really do is provide some basic cover fire. Even though the engine is damaged, he should still be able to fire a little bit. We're going to keep him stationary here to at least try to take out some of the enemy. Nope. Driver down. The whole vehicle is finished. Yeah, that was not going to work out. I didn't get a feeling it would. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Nice shot. At least we got one of them with our police squad. Try to get a second one. Get a second shot on him. Get a second shot on him. ISIL's all over the place here. Looks like we may have cleared out um, the mines at least. Move up, boys. Move up. We need all of our vehicles up here. Attention all groups. It appears they've got mortar guns. Take cover. Falcon 4, this is Nest 2. We have withdrawn our detachment from the control building. 
We don't have the forces to hold out longer, and so you'll have to help out there. If the enemy gets the building, as well. that can put the entire logistics compound at risk. Copy that mess too. Too bad you have more tanks than I do, but you somehow don't have the resources to help. Falcon, don't get smart. If the enemy is able to take the logistics compound, those tanks will be the only thing between us and utter catastrophe. Keeping the engineers the forward just because they're the only ones that can spot shot, whatever, whatever the hell is in we front of us. That. Try to keep the enemy from but the we got to keep this APC moving forward, this BTR Falcon moving forward. This is two. We have withdrawn our detachment from the control building. We don't have the forces to hold out and the chassis is damaged, and, so and that makes complete billion, sense since we're taking a major, major um, artillery fire here, mortar fire as a matter of fact, and then destroy driver down, alright, there we go, at least we got the crew to exit the vehicle, son of a bitch, fire, don't let them take our engineers out, oh look at all of those mines, we can't risk that. Come on, Try boys. Deactivate what you can. We'll do our best to help you. I was hoping that some of those mortars would problems. take out the mines that they've placed here. Now, looks like that might not be the uh, might not two. be the case. If only you had as many brains as you have tanks. Four, this is Damn it, that's another engineer next, down. We're, we're doing everything we can, boys. But we can't save every man. Falcon 4, this is Nest 2. We are beginning our attack on the control building of the logistics compound. Any support you can provide would be nice. We don't have much left in terms of support, but we're going to try. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, I like that a lot. We got a little bit of support for sure. Um, now, we got to get this BTR, try to avoid mines, which is not going to be easy, and try to take out those mortar crews. So let's move forward. Yes, it's going to be dangerous. Yes, this thing is probably going to be taken out. But if we can at least take out some of those mortars, I think I'm going to call that a victory. Look at that engine damage, engine destroyed. Come on, get a lucky shot on the mortar crews. There's one. We're going to have to fix that engine, obviously. But no, the crew has exited the vehicle. Can't blame them. Get in the building. Get in the damn building. You're not going to be able to survive. Falcon 4, this is Jin 1. We are your reinforcements. Oh, nice! Jin 1, you're just in time. Where did you come from? What's happening? Your sector is not top priority. All available forces are being sent to aid you. Good luck, man. Well, that's pretty awesome, guys. So now, obviously, we have the wonderful um, assistance of the Syrian army. Um, we're going to bring them forward for sure. See if we still have some engineers. Yes, we do. We know that we're going to have grenades, um, or excuse me, m uh, mines in front of us. But nonetheless, we can't really stop to deactivate every single one of them. Oh, look at that. Look at look at all those mines. Look at all that. And we're taking mortar fire at the same time. This does not look like a winning proposition for us. Um, I'm going to take our engineer team and immediately start deactivating these. Uh, while our boys keep this building under fire at least. But we got to get rid of these mines if we plan on moving into this location. And I think we've got some more men over here on the right side. Awesome. Definitely going to move them forward. Hopefully those uh, mortars are going to miss for the most part. While that's going on, I'm going to be deactivating these mines with our engineers. You can see there's a lot of them. And the only way I think we're going to win this mission is to deactivate every last damn one. Um, so we've got a sniper in this building. He's obviously caught being a pain in the ass, but as long as we can ignore him and focus mainly um, on deactivating mines um, and then eventually take out that second mortar crew, maybe we'll be just fine. Um, so let's hope that that's the case. It looks like our vehicle crew is pretty safe in that building, which leads me to believe that that might not be a bad building to set up our sniper team in, um, as well as our anti-tank crew. And for now, let's just get our snipers in there. We might also be able to eventually, I'm saying eventually, fix that BTR uh, and retake it. But for now, that's not going to happen. What I am going to do is take my infantry squad, and I'm going to storm this building. We're definitely going to hit some mines on the way, but time is of the essence. I think we're going to lose more men um, waiting to deactivate those mines than we would if we just charged the building. So let's go for it. Go for it, boys. Deactivate the mines as best you can. Come on, get in there. For freedom. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, there we go. Sniper team is already opening fire on the mortar crews. That looks like a serious sniper. 
He's really trying to get a good shot on. Alright, I think we've cleared this area. I hope we have. Because he's going to go in on a death attack. Almost a suicide attack. To try and take out the rest of those mortar teams. Fire. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. There's one down. One down. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, damn it. You need to change. You need to keep practicing your shots. Open fire. There we go. Another mortar team down. We got one more to deal with. Calm down. Take a deep breath. There we go. It's two mortar teams down, guys. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of support we need. Got that anti-tank squad. I'm moving them into this building. No shit. They must have realized that we're trying to push them out of the sector and have organized a counterattack. Roger that, base one. Men, things are gonna get worse before they get better. Hold on. It's a dark day, Commander. I called my mother, and those jackals have killed my uncle. My mother is crying, asking why we didn't save him. What do I tell her, Commander? Okay, well, first of all, we're gonna go ahead and repair this vehicle if we can. We're moving the rest of our boys up and anyone else that can help here. Um, obviously, we're trying our best, guys, but this is a tough, tough battle. That's why we've already restarted once on this battle. Are we gonna have to restart a second time? I don't know. It's, it's a possibility. Um, I mean, this is probably the toughest battle we've faced in the game so far, and I'm hoping what we have is sufficient to hold the enemy off. Uh, one thing that I keep forgetting is that we can set mines here. So I'm going to start setting some mines maybe here. And I hope we can't run over our own mines. Grab these mines. I'm going to go ahead and set some anti-vehicle mines over here. Come on, boys. Set them up, set them up. I hope they're only coming from this location. As you can probably imagine, I'm anticipating attacks from all over the place. We'll set some mines over here too anti-vehicle mines and sure enough they're coming from the north as well so we definitely want to get some mines set up here but it does look like our BTR is ready for action now look at that already got two of their vehicles keep firing gun destroyed that's an enemy BTR keep firing engine damaged crew destroyed we're not gonna stop keep setting those mines up come on boys we need the engineer's help right now more than ever. But you guys know how this works. If you're enjoying this particular battle, first of all, crew member down in the tank. Uh, hopefully we can get a kill on the tank. Another heat seeker. And if you want to see more, you got to hit that like button and you got to watch the next. And look at that burning tank. That's looking pretty cool. And it looks like now we're finally setting the mines in the right way to defend our men. So these engineers can't just deactivate but set mines. And we should be using that to our advantage for sure. Make sure to tune into the next episode.